Hey everyone, uh, second video of the day and last video of the day and hopefully my camera will last this time for me to get through it. This is going to be a knitting slash crocheting tag that Sonia or Cat, Cat Crazy Creations came up with and tagged a bunch of us in. <coughs> Ten questions, very simple, very basic. I am going to go as fast as I can because I gotta hope my battery will last. Question number one, how long have you been knitting or crocheting? I have been crocheting for about 42 years. I learned when I was seven years old. I've been doing it ever since. I've been seriously knitting for about four or five years. I actually started to learn when I was learning to crochet, but I had issues with tension and once I got those issues ironed out, I was just so slow at knitting that I kind of stuck to the crocheting until like four years, five years ago when I picked up a set of double pointed needles and it was all over. I've been really doing a lot of knitting since then. Oh, uh, number two, where do you knit or crochet? Just about anywhere. <laughs> Most generally, I'm sitting in my dining room. I've taken it to the park with me, to appointments. I, of course, take it to work with me for in-between rounds, uh, wherever, you know, doesn't matter. Number three, when do you crochet or knit? Morning, afternoon, evening, or anytime? Anytime, uh, most generally, but now that I'm working the night shift, I don't crochet or knit as much during the day because my day is now your nights. So, yeah, a lot more at night and you know, so haven't really gotten the evening or morning time in yet. Number four, favorite needles or hooks, and or hooks, I should say. Um, favorite needles, I have to say, are bamboo. Uh, I really like those. I don't tend to like metal needles just because there's a lot of slippage and not in the yarn as much as actually on my fingers. I am using them for my sweater right now. And I have to be very careful to really get a grip when I go to move stitches so that I don't drop them. Favorite hooks, I have to say, are the ones I learned to crochet on and I will use them for the rest of my life. And those are the Susan Bates. I believe they're called Silva Looms. Uh, I like them because there's a nice rounded head to them instead of like with the boy hooks. They tend to be more pointy and for me I find that that splits my yarn a little bit more. Favorite yarn. Um, I don't really have a favorite yarn. It's kind of I use what I have available to me. If I had a choice, I would definitely choose some of the absolutely beautiful yarns that I've received from Miss Erin, Give Me Yarn 418, as well as that beautiful bag of yarn I received from Miss Oaf and Jen recently. But yeah, I kind of just have to stick to what I can afford or what's on hand. So not really a favorite. Favorite things to knit or crochet. If you were to come into my house, you would probably say that it's creatures, toys, whatever you want to call them, because there are a lot <laughs> around my house. But I can't say it's my favorite. I just, I like to do whatever. Um, I've made a lot of socks recently. I've made tons of afghans in my life. I've made some sweaters. I'm now knitting my first sweater. So really just a wide variety. I don't really have a favorite. Just whatever happens to grab me at the time. Uh, where do I get my ideas or inspiration? A lot of time just from what other people are working on. Or maybe somebody comes up with an idea like Erin and her Christmas in July. Uh, you know, inspires me to do more Christmassy stuff. Not that you really have to inspire me to do that because I love Christmas. But um, there is one thing that I'm definitely going to be doing. Sonia just recently posted in the Ravelry TGIF group for the Christmas in July a yo-yo snowman she did and I've had that in my library on Ravelry for a while so you'll be seeing that soon. <laughs> uh, number eight, how did you learn? I learned from, my aunt started me crocheting, she just taught me how to chain and do single crochets and then my grandmother took over and taught me how to do more stitches as well as different patterns and I've kind of just taken it from there on my own to learn other things. As far as knitting, it was a toss-up between my grandmother and my mother for the basics. But then I taught myself a lot more because after so many years, I didn't have either one of them to be able to teach me. So, yeah. 
Number nine, how do you store or keep your patterns? Everywhere. <laughs> I have patterns here, there, and everywhere at this point in time. I have them in blank notebooks I've written down. I have them on index cards. I have them on scrap paper. They're in folders. They're in binders. They're piled here, piled there. Yeah. So no real system to the madness. And number 10 and last, any other hobbies? Lots. I've tried a lot of different crafts. I've done count across stitch, I've done beadwork, I've done polymer clay, I've done embroidery, I sew, I do paper piecing, I've made clothing, I just, you know, all kinds of crafts, as well as liking to read, and in the cooler months, I love to bake, so, uh, that's it, that's the 10 questions, <coughs> I'm not going to jinx myself, but yeah, I did make it through, so I am going to tag everybody. You will find in the description the 10 questions written out properly. I shortened them up on my piece of paper, as well as the link to the video that started it all. So this was video number two. I've posted, um, by the time this gets done, I'll have posted the accent tag that Zoe or 24 karat crochet came up with. So. And then tomorrow will be my regular TTMT video. <laughs> so, lots of videos this week. Yay! <laughs> Don't expect it again. All right. So, anyway, um, I will see everyone tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!